Good evening. Hey, good evening, George. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. Just a little uh, with a, a slippery. A little sleepy. A sleepy. The okay. the 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 normal, the regularly, or as usual. As usual. Okay. Hello. Good night. Hi. Good evening, Manuel. Remember, you say good night when you say goodbye. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Yeah. So, how's it going? Good evening. I'm still working. Still working. Sorry to hear that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, working. Sorry. Working. Yeah. Hey, what's <laughs> up, Manuel? I I was trying to to do or to make the homework. Two point two. To do the homework. To do the homework. But you were trying to do. I have problem because I don't know the platform. It, it doesn't uh, take to tomar la, the, the, the answer. Doesn't take the answer. Hmm. For example, the first uh, part uh, said uh, there are problems with, the, uh, well, would the instruction rewrite the sentence again using not only but also? Uh, the sentence are there are problems with the children, there are problems with their parents. Uh, I remember we we were seeing in the in the class in general in the class uh, part of this this uh, topic. But when I try, for example, teacher, there are problems mm -hmm. with the children. The first part, uh, maybe. Good evening. Only. Good evening. Will be the not only. Will be it will be not, not only. Not only there are problems with the children, huh? Yes, but when I when I put this uh, this type of uh, answer, mm -hmm. the system there are no take. Check check the letter. Capital letter. Capital yes. letters, the periods. Yeah, yeah, teacher, this is the problem. That, that is the problem with the with the platform, but uh, there are there is a point, but the, the capital letter when when the when when you continue the the sentence, uh, I, I remember the capital letter disappear because there, there, there is a, a coma, coma. Is that correct? There's a coma, okay. I also have problems with that part. All my answers were wrong. Yes, yes, I, I try to, to, to do, but <laughs> anyone way. It looks like it is not working right now. Oh God, I don't know why. But anyhow, I think I think the correct the correct form is uh, uh, not only there are problems with the children, but also yeah, but, but also there are problems with the parents. Yes, because I think the problem is the the, the, the punctuation. The, the punctuation, yes, uh, because if I. I've left the point and the capital letters continuation uh, is wrong. We'll see that in a minute because it's not loading right now somehow or a website. Number... Hey. 2.1, he said. Oh, there you go. I got it now. Okay, so let's see. 2.1? 2.2. 2.2. 2.2. Homework. Right. Hey, I, I am in, 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 in Spanish. <laughs> okay. There are problems with the children. There are problems with their parents. So let's see. Uh, instructions. Rewrite the sentences again using not only yes. but also. Okay. 
So there are problem. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, not only, not only there are. Oh, problems with the children. But also. Now here, let's see, let's try like this. But also, but also with their parents. Let's try like this first, period. Let me see if I can send it. Why is this in Spanish? Okay. Not only there are problems with the children, okay, but also with their parents. Okay. Any suggestions? But also their parents. No. And... Okay, any suggestions? What about the comma after, but also? There are problems. Or, there, or, or a point, or a dot. But also? With their parents. I mean, Not there are... Only. There are problems. Okay, With I'll give up. The children. With the children, no. Okay, I tried everything. Let's remove the dot. No, even without the dot, with the dot. Also with their parents. Not only there are teacher in the, in the children, first answer. So with their uh, parents. Right. the coma. And the first answer? The first answer. Mm hmm. Not only there are problems. Miss, miss, uh, miss coma. But it's also the coma. Let me. Oh God! Coma. What am I doing coma. here? With the children. The children. Prior coma. But also. Show this. No. Not only there are. You know uh, what? What about the the contraction, teacher? No, 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 no. I did it differently than we saw it on the on the book. There are problems not only with the children, but also with their parents. So the not also goes after there are problems. There are problems not only with the children, but also with their parents. That's the right answer. So again, there are problems. So th this is what we saw that you could do a, a noun phrase, a noun phrase in this case is not only, not only there are, okay. I mean, I'm sorry, there are problems and then not only with the children, but also with their parents. Let's see this one. Oh, okay. And the same happens here. She yes. not only writes, plays for television, but also acts in movies. For television, but also acts in movies. I don't like this, on movies, not in movies. Yeah, she not only pl writes plays, but also acts in movies. Okay, uh, let's try the next one. I send it him many letters. There. So again, we have the subject first. In the in the in the first teacher, uh, the I not only in, send in him any letters. But or also try it to telephone him. Point. Try to try to try to try to telephone him. To and, telephone him. Yeah. Point. Period. 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 Yeah. 
Correct. I not only send him many letters, but also try to telephone him. So you use the subject before not only. I think we saw the, that. The first one, teacher. Yep. What's the up with the first one? one? There are problems. Not only. There are problems not only with the children, but also with their parents. Okay, no tiene que llevar coma. No commas, no. no coma. Now, let, let's clarify this. You can either use a subject as such, just a subject, or you can use a noun phrase. There are problems. So in other words, we need a subject or a noun phrase or a noun before not only, okay? Now we're gonna talk tonight about neither nor, neither nor. Teacher, no me la agarra. <laughs> what? No me la agarra la primera, así como usted lo ha puesto. No me sé neither. Si you neither, okay. Look at the WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, yes, sorry. you're right. Uh, yes, I understand. What is the problem? Disappear the first part of the second. Yep. Repeat in the number one, please. It's on the WhatsApp group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just copy and paste it. Yes. So just repeating, you need a subject or a noun phrase before the not only. Okay, let me do the yes. attendance. Yeah, let me do the attendance to move on. And we will discuss, we will continue with this. Yeah, right. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. We have to clarify that. Okay, Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Present, teacher. Good. Christian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present, teacher. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Present teacher. Diego Armando López Rivas. Oh, he just reported. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. We may stay tonight, Manuel, for 10 minutes. Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, in case Juan Carlos doesn't come. Marielena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Presentation. Thank you. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleto Ochoa. Present, teacher. Good, thank you. Bien, recordarles que este es su compromiso ¿verdad? El mío es tratar de ayudarles en todo lo que pueda al que quiera aprender. Eh, importante sí estar conectado y que acumulen los puntos para poder pasar al siguiente nivel. Importantísimo completar la plataforma cada viernes para que yo pueda subir las notas y Insafor lo audite y decidir si ustedes continúan en el siguiente módulo. Recordarles que eso es una beca gratuita en teoría, eh, pues que muchísimas, muchísimos salvadoreños desearían tener eso. No desaprovechen la oportunidad, den su mejor esfuerzo, no solo en esto, sino en todo lo que hagan. So, let's move on. Let's continue. Um, on this part, so just clarifying, I think we're, we're clear, right, Manuel? We need a subject, then not only, 
okay? The complement, and then but, also, and we continue. Now, on the second part, we don't need this to repeat the subject. That's what we saw before. We don't need to repeat the subject. Okay, so to start this class, I would like to do two things during our first hour. The first thing is to kill a ghost. We're gonna kill a ghost right now. I think this is good enough. This will do, okay. Okay, I'm sending you an image to your WhatsApp. Okay. Don't pay attention. I need to do this, spotlight myself, and pin, am I pin? Yes, pin, there you go, okay. So stage number one, there we go. Van a disculpar la cara horrible, pero bueno. Bien, vamos a hablar en español. Voy a hablar en español un minuto. Esto va a quedar grabado para que ustedes puedan regresar a él cuando ustedes quieran. La imagen que tienen en su WhatsApp ahorita desde la pronunciación de las ED endings lo voy a hacer en español para no tomar mucho tiempo de la clase en esto, pero es un área de oportunidad muy grande que todos tenemos en este curso. So vamos a corregirlo, ¿ok? Eh, para empezar, hay que aprender a ponerse las manos acá, así ponerlas en V, si quieres me vas siguiendo, las pones en tu garganta. ¿Qué va a ser? Este es un método muy efectivo para poder identificar eh, vibraciones en tu aparato, ¿no? En la boca, en la garganta, siempre va a haber vibraciones. A veces las vibraciones se dan en las fosas nasales, a veces en la garganta y a veces en los labios. So, hay tres reglas principales de pronunciación de los IDN. ¿Qué son los IDN? Los verbos regulares, se les agrega ED y ya son verbos en pasado, ¿no? Entonces, eh, vamos a comenzar con la letra de en medio, que es una T entre dos plecas, ¿sí? Y el sonido que está entre las dos plecas, esa T, es el sonido. Entonces, pongo la punta de mi lengua entre los dientes y voy a soplar levemente, solo la puntita. Correcto, apaguemos los micrófonos, solo intentarlo, intentarlo. Ahora, ¿cómo sé que lo estoy haciendo bien? Ponete la mano enfrente, ¿sí? Si tú sentís aire en la palma de la mano, está funcionando, ¿ya? Ese es el primer sonido. Lo voy a hacer al final de verbos que no tienen, no me producen ningún, ninguna vibración en mi garganta, ni en mi boca, ni en mi nariz, ni en mis labios, cuando pronuncio el verbo en su forma base. Estoy hablando de la columna de en medio. So, en su forma base, esos verbos irían como help, help, Look, perdón, look, look, no hay vibración, sigo, sniff, sniff, estoy hablando de sonidos finales de los verbos en su forma base, siguiente, laugh, laugh, no hay vibración, wash, wash, no hay vibración, watch, watch, kiss, Kiss, tampoco hay vibración. Dance, dance, ojo que no es dance, 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 no hay vibración. Y la última, fix, fix. Entonces, estos verbos que yo noto, ¿sí? No hay vibración. Digo, kiss, kiss, kiss. No pasa nada. Les voy a agregar nada más a su sonido final, help. Vendría a ser help, help. Help. Look. Look. Es acaba aquí. Look, 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 look. Look. Siguiente sería sniff. 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 Siguiente. Laugh. Laugh. Washed. Washed. Watched. Ojo con esa. Watch the watch TV. Watched, 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 
Watched. Next, kissed. 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 Okay. Danced. Danced. And last one, fixed. Fixed. Bien, esa es la primera regla. La segunda regla para nosotros sería la D entre las dos plecas, ¿no? El sonido, otra vez la punta de la lengua, pero esta vez no soplo, sino que hago vibrar la punta de la lengua entre los dientes. Y esta segunda regla es para los verbos que en su forma base tienen una vibración. ¿Cómo así? Bien, segunda regla. ¿Ok? Ahora sí me pongo las manos y vas a notar la diferencia. Voy a sostener el sonido final de estos verbos en la columna derecha donde está la D entre plecas. Lo voy a sostener en su forma base para sentir la vibración. Entonces digo call, call. Queda la vibración en la garganta. Siguiente sería clean, clean. Me queda la punta de la lengua en el cielo de la boca y se siente la vibración. Clean. Siguiente, offer, offer, mi lengua queda enrollada hacia atrás en el aire y hago vibrar la lengua, offer, ok, damage, 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 eso, clarísimo, en la garganta, damage, el siguiente, muy claro, muchísimos verbos que terminan en VE, love, aquí me pican los labios, love, Ok. Use. Hago vibrar. Yo hago vibrar mis dos colmillos izquierdos. Ok. Use. Siguiente. Amaze. Otra vez. Termina en sonido. Ok. Rub. Aquí me vibran los labios porque terminan en B labial. Rub. Claim. Sonido nasal. Claim. Entonces, si hay vibración al final de estos verbos en su forma base, agrego el sonido al final y digo cold, cold, así como helado, correcto, cold, cleaned, offered, offered, damaged, 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 loved, loved, used, used. Amazed, amazed, rubbed, rubbed, claimed, claimed. Esa fue la segunda regla. Y la tercera, si los verbos en su forma base ya terminan de por sí con el sonido t, t o d, entonces voy a sonar a id, ¿ok? Ojo, wanted. Wanted, needed. ¿Por qué ocurre esto? Les decía en una clase anterior. Cuando un verbo termina en el sonido ot y tiene antes una vocal, como en need, ¿okay? puedo hacer esa regla de que una D o una T entre dos vocales suena R y sería wanted. Podría ser needed, perdón, needed, needed. Acted, ahí está clarísimo, ¿y? A, C, T, E, D. Acted, vocal, consonante, consonante. Act, act, acted. ¿Ok? Need, needed. So, questions. Ojo con lo que dice al final. Words that end in the vowel sound use the V pronunciation for ED. Followed, enjoyed, tried, oi, tried, continued, continued. Okay? And that's it. Bien, entonces, tarea, revisar esta parte del video, cuantas veces sea necesario, practicar esto, ¿no?, de la vibración. Si tú eres una persona muy metódica, pues, ir a las reglas estas, ¿no?, cada una de las reglas. De hecho, hay un cuadrito, luego se lo voy a pasar, donde están clasificados los sonidos consonantes en una columna. Por columnas, o sea, vas clasificando estos tres sonidos y abajo están todas las columnas, porque cada consonante tiene su sonido. La F, 
P viene de la U. -V. So F, for example. Right? And so on. Eso es lo que tenemos pendiente. And we have another thing that we have to work on. Hold on. Any questions? Questions? No? Okay. Good. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to clarify, and there's a question. Good evening, teacher. I will be as a listener. Okay. Christian, I understand. I have another class before English class. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to attack the area of improvement that Jorge said yesterday. Teacher, I have an issue. I cannot continue a sentence. If you if you watched if you watched yesterday's video and the one on one session with Jorge, I try to correct this. Let's say this way. So prepositions. There are a lot of prepositions. I mean, there's a lot of prepositions. Really, I actually have a list of prepositions that you could use. Some of them I have never used. This is a short list of prepositions. What I'm sending you on your WhatsApp right now is a short list of prepositions. But there is one that I don't like. Hold on. And this is not a preposition. Okay. That's a little list of prepositions. Okay. It's a little list. Okay. So. Open your microphone, open your microphones, please, and cameras, we're in a class. So review that list and tell me which prepositions you don't know. Just review it, scan it, and tell me, hey, among, what? what's among, teacher? Above, abort. Wait, 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 uh, uh, above. Abort. Board. The oh, first a board. One. The first one, a board. Oh, first one. Okay. I don't board. use that. A board. A board. Across. Across the universe. A meal. Okay. Uh, abroad need, means on top of, uh, you know, being on top of um, of something. Uh, again, wait, across means over something. What else did you say? Amid. Amid. Yeah, amid. Not a, not a common preposition. In the middle of. Okay. It's a synonym. In many, many prepositions are synonyms of others. In amid. reality. Amid, amid is in the amid. middle of. In the middle, that's right. Sounds like a um, among is is between is a is a is a synonym of between. But in this order, for example, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus right now? Where's God? Among us. He's among us. Where? I don't know, but he's among us. <laughs> right? He's not in the middle. He's not in the center, but he's among us. That's uh, an example, uh huh? Beneath. 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 Underneath. Yes. Underneath. Under the table. Beneath the table. Beneath the table. So, what are we going to do? Uh, so, a proposition is the interaction between the verb. So, action, what is a verb? A verb is an action, right? What is yes. a preposition? <laughs> a preposition is the interaction. Without a preposition, you cannot join two ideas. You cannot put two ideas together. So we're going to use all the grammar that we know. Now, mind this. 
before the preposition. You may need to conjugate. You may need something extra to make sense. For example, and this is the game. I'm going to start using something that I know. I'm going to use about. Okay. Give me a verb, Jorge, any verb, any verb. Run. Run. I knew you were going to say run. Okay. So can I say I run about? Now, your job right now in Teams will be to continue because the whole point of the exercise is to challenge a classmate, Jorge, challenge a classmate. Who? Who do you want to help, Jorge? Select somebody. Uh, Manuel. You want to help Manuel, okay? Manuel, continue the sentence. What is the compliment? I run about the Now, this is the funny part. 5 miles. Like yes. I run about 5 miles. Okay. Y aquí viene lo interesante. ¿Estamos de acuerdo todos con la oración de Manuel? ¿O alguien desea agregar algo más? Maybe when? Where? I run about five miles. Okay, when? No, when? Tonight? Oh, oh you mean... <laughs> exactly. Tonight. Now... Hmm. Do I need anything else? I run about five miles tonight. Yo corro cinco millas esta noche. Hmm. I will run. <laughs> okay, I need to conjugate the verb to make more sense. Okay. It could be in past, right? I ran five miles tonight. Man, I ran five miles tonight. That's past. And so on. Now, what Nelson just did is think about the WH questions. What, where, who with, oops. Okay, uh, when, how, okay, and so on, right? Why? Why, purpose. So if you make yourself all of these questions, you will continue making a long compliment, okay? So I will run about five miles. Let's do another one with about. Should be another verb, uh, Manuel. Um, jump. Okay. Laura jump about Ten times. About ten times. In the when she wake up. Okay. Okay, can we correct something else in this sentence? The past tense? What? The past tense. No. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, we had to add the S. <laughs> Where? <laughs> wait. Jumps, uh, wait. Jumps. Wait. Okay, simple present. Laura jumps about 10 times when she... Wakes up. When she wakes up. Wakes up. Crap. I'm sorry. Yeah, Laura jumps about 10 times when she wakes up. I just hit the escape button. I'm sorry, guys. I hate when that happens. So a lot of jumps is just one is, I'm sorry, about 10 times when she wakes up. That's right. Let's continue with another example. Let's change the preposition. And this is what you're going to do in teams, okay? 
Maria, I'm gonna do Maria. What preposition shall I use from the list? Something that you know. Just choose any. Don't don't discriminate. Just okay. The first one you recognize. Go ahead. Walk. Wait. Walk. Okay. Walk. 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 Okay. What preposition? Which preposition okay. shall I choose? Around. 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 Okay. That's very similar to about, right? Or during. During. Huh. Okay, I accept the challenge. Let's see, during. So that's our preposition. We have to use it on every example. And as nouns, I mean, as a verb, we have walk. Okay, shoot me the examples. I'm gonna do Alex, okay, Alex. I wanted to do Laura because I wanted you to hear that in English is not Laura, it's Laura, Laura, like that, Laura. Okay, Laura. Walks. Okay. During? The, the first time. Here. Dur during her free time. Free time. Okay. During in her. Of the day. Again, Jorge. In the middle of the day. In the middle of the day. Okay. Laura walks during her free time in the middle of the day. Let's do more examples. Laura walks during, what else can I say? The rain, no. During the rain? Okay. Hmm. During the rain. Laura walks during the rain. Can I continue the sentence? Every every winter. Ah, that answers when. Continue with when, okay. So Laura walks during the rain. During the winter? Yeah, as well, during the, the rain, during the winter. Can I continue the sentence? We do her way home. Well, uh, wait, Nelson? To uh, or on her way home. Okay. Which WH question am I answering here? When? When? Okay. So I continue answering to when. Laura walks during the rain on her way home. Now I want you to notice something. A key element, you're using one preposition, two prepositions. One preposition, two prepositions. Can I continue the idea? Laura walks during the rain on her way home because, another preposition, okay, she loves the feeling. Can I continue the idea? Yes. But it reminds her of another preposition, her boyfriend. And I can continue as long as I want. What do I need? I need conjunctions or connectors. Okay, I need conjunctions or connectors. I need prepositions. When I use but, most likely the next sentence will be something a little negative. Be careful with that. 
So Laura walks during the rain on her way home because she loves the feeling, but it reminds her of her boyfriend. Okay. Questions? Just one verb. So what are we attacking here? We are, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Play with your heart. What am I attacking here? The normal thing is for you to see subject, verb, complement. Simple present, simple past. Subject, verb to be, verb with ing, and complement. But nobody told you how to continue the complement. Now, this is a problem with adults, with us, with adults, because we don't think of what we do. So what Nelson was doing is the perfect thing. What I explained yesterday in the 10 minutes with Jorge, make yourself the question, why, where, when, with who, how. Good. Now that's number one. Number two, use prepositions. Now the challenge is as a team, you have to select a preposition, okay? And just one person in the team will say, okay, I have a verb, C. You can write it on the chat. I have a verb for everyone, C. The preposition will be beside. Who can make me a sentence? Go ahead. This is what you're gonna do right now on Teams. C, beside, make me a sentence. Type it, type it, type it, type it. Puedo ocupar presente simple, pasado simple, whatever you want. Where is the, the preposition, Susana? Beside. Okay, so this is what you have to use. I see, beside. I saw her beside her boyfriend and she looked, I can see you beside the tree. <laughs> Sounds right. I can see you beside the tree. Behind. I can see you beside, no, it's okay. I can see you beside the tree. Uh, one, two, three for you, right? <laughs> Uno, uno, dos, tres para yeah. ti. What was it? I, I don't remember, oh my God. Uno, dos, tres para Jorge. <laughs> okay. I can see you inside the tree. Okay. Okay, I'm going to count until 10. I need one more example. Someone. I need a lot of rest beside my vacation. Where is the verb see? Don't change the sentence. I see beside. So I need to use these three elements, a subject, the verb, and the, the preposition that we are using. I, see, beside. So, ¿cómo yo hago esto en una clase presencial? Elijo cuatro equipos. El equipo uno va contra el equipo tres y el equipo dos contra el equipo cuatro. Ojo, eh. Entonces, en este caso, si somos, wow, somos doce, muy bien. Entonces, vamos a ver tres grupos de cuatro. 
fulano contra fulana y fulana contra fulano, ¿ya? Entonces, Jorge le dice a Manuel, ajá, Jorge, el verbo es sí y la preposición es down, sí, down. The teacher sees, tercera persona, the teacher sees beside of the car. Beside the car. The teacher sees beside the car. Eh, could be, the teacher saw beside the car. Puedes usar otro tiempo gramatical. Y bien, la clave de, esta, de este ejercicio ahorita, lo que acabamos de ver es que después del verbo voy a necesitar un objeto, an object noun. Entonces, así quedaría, miren. I see something beside noun. So, the teacher sees the dog beside the car. You need to see the schedule, muy bien, beside, ah, oh, close, close. Beside you. Okay. Yeah, you need to see. Tenés que ver qué cosa. Okay, the schedule. Oh, okay. Beside, ¿dónde está the schedule? Beside you. Beside you. Entonces, eh, ahí esa sería la clave. Hay preposiciones y verbos que necesitan un objeto en el medio. ¿Ok? So, vamos a aterrizar esa idea. ¿Qué mejor manera de hacerlo que practicándolo? Entonces, repito, le das un verbo y una preposición a tu compañero, déjalo que se dé duro hasta que encuentre una oración. ¿Ya? Y tú vas a hacer lo mismo con tu compañero. De un solo decirle, ok, Jorge, ahí te va, Manuel, ahí te va. Y se los pones en el chat, en los grupos de cuadro, ¿ok? Good. Questions? No, ok. No quiero ver que se estén peleando tampoco, vea. Y no, me voy difícil, me la pusiste, si no se vale. No, tranquilo, vea. No fighting. <ríe> ok. Ok, let's go. Okay, let's go, Wendy. Let's go, Susana. Christia, please. The technique is uh, to give uh, a verb and one preposition. This is correct, teacher. To select to me. Okay. Um, and I select you <laughs> for example for example for you bear plate um, um, versus versus mm -hmm. okay okay uh, and the And the, the next step is uh, create the sentence. Mm -hmm. and, and, the you, and you tell me what is my verb. Okay. From. Um, okay. The, the verb is... Um, Sleep. Mm -hmm. And the preposition is between. Okay. Yes. Teacher, in, to create this uh, sentence, uh, when when I show my my answer. What do you mean? Oh, oh, on the chat. Go on the WhatsApp 
chat. I'm sorry, on the on the Zoom chat here. Here on the Zoom chat, you can do the sentence or just say it. Just say it. Okay. Okay. Yes, because uh, the chat is in general. Yeah. You could do that. Okay. But do it here. Do it here on the on the Zoom chat right now with Sylvia. Yes. And okay. with Wendy. In my case, uh, in my case, uh, may I say, uh, for tomorrow, my team, my soccer team, uh, will will play a match versus. Um, Accountant area. Accounting, accounting, accounting department. Accounting department. Mm -hmm. You see the bear play. Yeah, but if she said play and against, what is the preposition? The preposition versus or against. Versus is not a preposition. Against. Against, yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, <laughs> against. Yeah. Versus is a oh yeah yeah I'm sorry yes. yeah 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 it's a, it, yeah. It, it, it's a synonym of it's a synonym of against, against. totally so you got it tomorrow okay. my team plays against or versus yeah that's right in my case teacher for example uh my daughter sleeps between my husband and me and I. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah, that works. Just the verb and the preposition. But what are those the verb and the preposition that you gave, Manuel? Sleep. Uh, okay. the, the preposition is between. Okay, mm -hmm. sleep between. Perfect. Now with okay. Wendy. Um, Wendy doesn't have. Sorry. <laughs> I am white. Oh. Or cloudy. I was swimming among too much people. Just you can change the I. Hmm? I was swimming among too too much too much people. <laughs> yes. The next one. The next one. Uh, Maria. Uh, um, um, the verb and the preposition. The verb. Uh, um, Maria fly and okay Maria it's your turn Maybe I need fly into Italy. Okay. Um, I need maybe. to fly to Italy. To. I need but, to fly. Okay, but the, where is the preposition? I need fly. No, I need to fly. Hmm. Until Italy, mm. until refers to time, time, not place. There, there's a lot of rain. There's a lot of rain, Maria Elena. 
and you cannot fly it anymore. You cannot fly anymore. So I need to fly until? Until I have 45 years. <laughs> no, time, time, time. Prepositions until... of time, remember? Before. I need to fly until? I need to fly before 3 p.m. Mm. That's the point. Mm. Until 3 p.m. Until tomorrow. I need to fly until tomorrow. You see? Until tomorrow. What about I cannot fly until next week? Mm. Okay, continue, continue. I sleep before the test. I slept before the test. Perfect. But what about the exercise we we actually are we do? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what you're doing, right? So the verb was fly for Maria, Marilena. We, it was fly and until we we we, we were changed or rotate in the, the verb and the... And the preposition. And the preposition. And the student. Now Jorge can challenge Claudia or yes. Carlos and so on. Okay. So Claudia, it's your turn to to put the, the verb okay. and the preposition. The verb is... <laughs> I don't see that preposition on the list. Between. I am. Between. Okay. Between. Um... <laughs> um, can be yes. um, on the dinner party I I don't remember that is the past I think so. I, I think so. See, yes. So. Yes, okay. So on the party <laughs> on last, last night party I sat between famous people. Okay. Um, verb. Think. Think. And <laughs> can you repeat, please? The, the yes. verb. Think. The think. Think. Okay. think. Ah, think. Okay. During. Okay. Um. Mm. The last year I sang. We have to, uh, uh, Tony. We have to use the 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 verb uh, in present, or we can make it on past. Okay. I think we can make it in other times. Okay. Um, the last year I sang during my cousins. Wedding. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know if Mario has the, <laughs> the sentence. Okay. Uh, I'm still trying to catch uh, 
to what a proposition is. Uh, I, I mean, that's very uh, important. That's very important to understand what the proposition is. What is the meaning of the proposition? Yeah, because I'm, I have listened uh, the examples that, or the the word and the proposition that you said, but in, I'm trying to find. Uh, try uh, try to, to make try to use the chat so everybody can see what you're saying. Make sense? No, 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 no. I, I, I mean, I'm trying to to make a sentence with with that, uh, but the verb and the preposition. Uh, yeah, I mean, and I can. <laughs> That's the point. That's the point. That's the idea. Now, everybody, try to help yourselves, okay? Try to help yourselves, okay? Okay. 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 I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, teacher. So, unlike, unlike. 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 Ah, oh, okay, okay. In the where? You decide. Oh, okay. Unlike. Um... I I I give me a moment. So Susana said, I can write. Okay. But, uh, Susana, you uh, can you? Can you say it by uh, Microsoft uh, microphone? Or are you working? Um, I don't. I don't. Oh. Are you ready, Sylvia? Yes, I. I... I have a, a two. <laughs> yes, okay. uh, I Hello, don't. Please. I don't speak unlike to her. <laughs> I don't know. Unlike, unlike mm -hmm. I I, uh, I I I say I say unlike because nowadays on Facebook is very common like like. And or unlike, mm -hmm. for example, I was I was thinking in your challenge, uh, I saw uh, one pigs of sellers, but I was laughing because one car was uh, damaged totally, but the seller uh, pigs. Uh, uh, I want it. I want to to sell my my car uh, for thousand dollars, but the cars was was a uh, uh, broke down thoroughly, and I laughed and I put on like, <laughs> for example. <laughs> uh, hello, uh -huh. Christian. Good evening. Hello. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the challenge uh, for this exercise is teacher uh, sends uh, in a WhatsApp group a lot of uh, preposition. And the challenge is uh, to create a, a sentence using one of 
is preposition and the verb you decide what is the verb. Okay. Have you the the WhatsApp uh, the the preposition? Okay, let me see. Mm. May I give you a one preposition? The preposition the prepositions are above, about, above, across, after. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Uh, the preposition is from. And and uh -huh. I, I I give you I will give you uh, a verb. Uh, Wash. Wash. So I need I need to make a sentence. I, yes. I don't know. Yes. Um, please. Okay. Uh, could you repeat? <laughs> please. Uh, the the verb is wash. Watch. No, wash. Wash. Okay, wash. Yes. Wash. And the preposition is, I don't know, I, 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 I say from, but not sense. <laughs> what is okay. the preposition? Uh, outside, outside, preposition, outside. 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 Um, um, okay, let me see. I wash my car outside my house. Very good. Okay. Yes, you got it. <laughs> you got it. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Next one is for me. Easy, please. You can do it, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but okay, Claudia, you're given two verbs: organize, make. Those are two verbs, so you can say organize or make, and a preposition. But it's sure here in the in the last twenty years, same is <laughs> organized. Why? Uh, Please. <laughs> with two with two okay. verbs is difficult. Uh, okay. I will do it again. The verb. Hmm. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yep. Regarding? What's the meaning of regarding? Regarding. Yes. 
in regards um talking about something talking about jorge regarding jorge okay he is doing a great job regarding your proposal what about proposal? this? I'm sorry? What about this sample? Um, interested. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, regarding your proposal, I'm interested. I made a big mistake in my work near my friends. I made a big mistake in my work near my friends. In my work, uh, in my job, when you say your work is like you own the company um, think about think about work as the verb and as the place the verb and the place okay just to talk about your place what, 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 what you do yeah more specific job yeah. my job okay. i made a big mistake in my job near my friends okay yep yeah, mistake near very good Okay, two minutes and we will move on. Okay, Carlos. Um, right. He needs to dance without drinks. He needs to dance without drinks. Clean along. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very easy. Bye. Also, wow. <laughs> without alcohol a new pair of shoes but also a tie perfect clean along hmm. okay Carlos you can write to Maria Elena now be careful with that. It's not a long time that goes apart. A long time, no. Along the road, along the way. So it's a distance. Mm, is a preposition, and it means along. For example, um, the dom cleaned along. Uh, Along the Monsignor Romero. I don't know. The dom clean along the Monsignor Romero. And it's, it's like on. On, but all the way through. On. And be along is a is a alone is a l o n e. Yes, but 
if you use with be, be alone? It's uh, a complex. You are not alone, Michael Perfect. Jackson? Yes, you are not alone. Don't be alone for a long time. Don't be alone for a long time. <laughs> yeah, there's many ways to say, okay, let's go back. Okay, let's see, let's see, that's it. Where are you guys? Here you are. Stand. Okay, while we wait for the others, I want to challenge everybody here that it's already here. Let's see if you can do this. Um, it's my thing, here it is. So, the car stays or stay, okay. Um, nah, that's gonna sound like a phrasal verb. Stays into, okay, continue. Save, save is not a preposition. Into the mud. Come again. The car stay. The car stay into the mud. Into the mark. Yes. Okay. The car. The car stays into the mark. Yeah. The mark on the floor. The mark. Okay. Or before they race, right? The car stays into the mark. Don't move it. Just the yellow mark. That's the start line. Okay. They save sins. They save since Christmas. They save since, since Christmas? Yes. Yeah, that makes sense too. Okay. Yeah. We can go on. A trip. We can go on a trip. Easy. Next Sunday, whatever. Okay. Okay, that's two. Mm -hmm. Maria, stare over me all the day all night long okay remember that maria stares over me all day long she stares over me all day long i think she's in love with me or something man <laughs> okay diana love despite Uh, 
Now, this is what I was telling you before. Sometimes you may need something in the middle, right? Or else it may not sense, may not make sense. Okay, let's ask Diana, what do you love? What thing could you love or who could you love? Could you be loved? Maybe the time and distance. Mm, time and distance? Diana loves. Mm. Diana loves her boyfriend despite he shitted on her. Oh my god. Nah, that's too <laughs> too too toxic. Diana loves. <laughs> Let's say her job. Diana loves her job despite. The distance, as Maria Elena said. Okay, Diana loves her job despite the distance. Yeah, Diana loves her job despite the distance. That's it. So sometimes you may need something before. The whole point is that after a preposition, you need a noun. Okay, now to move on with this topic, let's move on to today's topic which is talking about neither nor. Now let's start with, by saying the word. Be careful with the writing of this word. What is the meaning of neither, by the way? Tampoco. This was very popular here in El Salvador. They even call or president this way. Before he became president, they used to call him that way. Nini. <laughs> there you go. Ni. Ni. <gasps> what? Yes. As simple as that. So we're going to keep it very simple tonight. I was looking at something and I forgot where did I leave it. There it is. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and send this little piece of an image for you on your WhatsApp so you can have it handy. Well, we see this guy here. So this is like a formula to work around the grammar on this topic. Neither nor. So there are two ways. I hope you're paying attention. First of all, as you can see on that chart that I just sent you, you may use neither first plus a noun and then nor plus a noun. Option one, and this is on your image on the WhatsApp and it says neither Jason nor Donald came to the party. Now in this case, I'm just going straight with Spanish. This is very similar to Spanish. Okay, so neither, okay, Marcos, Marco, nor Polo hmm, uh, visited me last weekend. And who's talking? Their grandma. Hmm. Uh oh, Marco and Polo are so mean. Neither Marco nor Polo visited me last week. Give me another example. Neither nor. Neither teacher. Okay, neither the teacher. Uh huh. Nor the student. Nor the students. Uh huh. Comes today to the class. C came today. Came today. In this case, since we're virtual, let's say showed up to the class today. So neither the teacher nor the students showed up to the class today. Wow. The show up is what we do here in virtual classes. I'm showing up. Who didn't show up tonight? 
when we are in live classes, yes, you may come to the class or not show. Okay. Next example. Somebody, come on, guys. Help me. Somebody else. Okay, no volunteer, I'm gonna choose a victim. A victim. Uh -huh. Oops. Whose camera is off? Mario Villeda. If your camera is off. I choose you. Mario Villeda, I choose you. Mario Villeda, yo te dijo. Okay, no? Huh. Teacher. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, for example, neither hamburgers nor pizza all is closed at midnight. I was thinking about that. Neither hamburgers nor pizza, the opposite, because this gives a negative idea. So neither hamburgers nor pizza, okay? All is closed at midnight. Are open. Ah, uh -huh. At midnight. Okay. Um, Súper rápido. Para dar a entender esto bien claro, neither nor da una idea negativa ya de por sí. Entonces, ni las hamburguesas ni la pizza están abiertas uh -huh. okay. esta noche. Ok. okay. What if I use names? What if I use Burger King and Pizza Hut? Should I use R or is? Be careful with this. Tengan cuidado con esto. Digamos que digo, neither Burger King nor Pizza Hut, okay, is open at midnight. Why is? If the nouns are in singular, then you use verb in singular. Neither Lakers nor Bulls. I prefer Knicks. I think that, that goes on the next example. Eso va en el siguiente ejemplo porque estás hablando de un verbo. De algo que te gusta o no te gusta, ya lo vamos a hacer. Sí. Okay. La farmacia ni. Oh my God. Me lo atiendo. Eh, ajá. I don't know what to say. Ok, ni la farmacia ni la tienda tienen dolofín. <laughs> Easier, ok. Ok, go ahead. Neither drugery. Neither. Uh -huh. The drugery. I'm Neither sorry, wait, wait, wait. drugery? Drugstore? Drugstore, uh -huh. Drugstore or pharmacy, uh -huh. Neither the drugstore? Neither the drugstore, or, nor, no. nor uh, How do you say tienda? How do you say tienda, <laughs> guys? Or grocery. Or grocery. Or grocery. Oh, grocery. Uh -huh. Neither the drugstore nor the groceries. Has marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah, neither the drugstore nor the grocery has marijuana. All they don't know what is that, what that is. They don't know what that is. Okay, so are we clear here? I'm using neither first, then a noun, then nor, then a noun, and then. The complement which starts with a verb. Watch neither, out. Neither clear nor nor what else. That's the point, Jorge. You don't need to use a verb. You need to use a noun first. Neither noun plus nor noun. Okay. Why? Because you're saying that neither this 
nor this place, people, whatever, X thing. Um, I, I just want to answer your question about if it's clear. So I want, I, I want to answer about neither clear nor, but I don't remember the <laughs> clear um, nor easy. So but, you want to say neither, neither I'm clear, okay, nor lost, something like that. Is. I'm clear, not lost. So ah. I kind of, I kind of understood. Yeah, I, I'm kind <laughs> of, I'm kind of clear of what you're saying. That, that was the, the idea. Ni estoy claro ni, ni perdido. Um. <laughs> okay, okay. Ni estoy claro ni perdido. Hmm. Confused, maybe? You can just confuse too. Yeah, neither I'm, neither I'm clear nor totally lost. Ni estoy claro ni totalmente perdido. So I'm kind of understanding. Yes, you can say that. You can say that. And you got the idea. You're comparing two, two parts of a phrase by saying ni, ni, nor Neither nor, neither nor, ni no. Okay, and that's the order. Now let's go with the second part. What's the structure? It says neither plus the verb, I'm sorry, verb or phrase plus nor plus verb or phrase. God, my selection. So phrase, okay. There you go. Neither plus verb or phrase plus nor plus verb nor phrase. Okay. So look at the example. She will neither call him nor send him a message anymore. Now in these examples, you will see the subject before, number one. Number two, you will see the auxiliary followed by uh, the subject. So in other words, subject plus the auxiliary or the grammar tense that you're using, then you have neither. And then you have the verb or phrasal phrase. I'm sorry, the phrase that you want to say. Let's say. Then you have nor and you move on with uh, an, an object, in this example, we have an object. Uh, well, I'm sorry, a verb, a verb, and a complement. So do it again. Mario? Do you use that uh, structure to compare two to, to parts of something? Yeah, it's the same example, ni, ni. So, Let's see. Mario can neither dance nor um, swim. With her. Oh, sing, teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounds better, right? Sing is more into context. I, I don't like neither the Lakers, nor the Bulls. Okay, oh, your example, okay. I don't, very good, like, oh, 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 I don't neither like, ooh, no, 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 no. We cannot do this. We cannot do double negatives. Mm. Or maybe just say me neither. I neither. I neither like. No, because that's something else. That is something else. How to answer. If I say I don't like Lakers or I don't like the Lakers. Okay. So. 
Christia could reply. Okay, Christia could reply. Me neither. Me neither. Or you could also say, neither do I. And if you agree to a positive sentence, I like Lakers. I like the Lakers. I mean, I like the Lakers. So you could say, so do I. So do I. You know, they mean, you can say me too. Me too, me too, but that's too basic. What, <laughs> what about what about if you use uh, neither Lakers nor Bulls? I prefer Knicks. You can say that too. Now you are going to the back, the previous example. Neither Lakers nor Bulls. I prefer Knicks, the Knicks. Now that's when you're in a context, Jorge. When somebody's talking about basketball teams, man, those are amazing. I don't know. Nah, neither I like Bulls nor Lakers. I, I prefer Knicks. I prefer the Knicks. Now, in this context, let's continue with your example because I, I'm I'm triggered by this. I don't like the Lakers. Okay. Um that you said. I do neither. You no. Know, I neither like, is the way you said it. I neither like the Lakers nor the Bulls. For example, I neither like the Lakers or the Bulls. Let's see another example using this um, grammar. I did, oh, let's use a different context. We did neither. We did neither play, okay. What, play what, soccer, nor basketball. Does it rain the whole morning? Uh, this is a, an example. We did neither. Now, why do we need the auxiliary to determine which grammar tense we are on, right? I did. We did neither play soccer nor basketball as it rained a whole morning, you know. Ni jugamos football ni basketball. Porque o debido a que llovió toda la mañana. So we didn't go out. Try it. Now, what I want you to understand is this. Neither goes before the verb. And if you are adding a different grammar tense, then the auxiliary will go before the, the verb. Just like any other rule. Can somebody try, I don't know, present, present perfect? Um. Oi. I had neither been in Spain nor Italy. I have I have neither neither been been mm -hmm, in Spain nor Italy nor Italy I have neither been in Spain nor Italy totally so subject the auxiliary now we have neither the main verb in past participle as it says on the structure right Past participle in Spain nor Italy. Someone else? Okay, let's use a conditional. Yeah. 
painful neither. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just read. <laughs> you just read. Okay. <laughs> you just read. I just read. Okay. She will neither love you nor hate you. Classic. Just take it. Just take it like a man. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cruel, but it's true. She will neither love you nor hate you. Just take it like a man. Just thank God that she's not going to kill you, you know. She's very reasonable, so she will neither love you nor hate you. Just take it like a man. That's it. Too much drama. In yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just that I'm I have been watching the little dinosaurs, you know, and I saw the Toxicosaurio, so I was like, man, really. Have you seen the trend? Yes, I was I don't know. I was close in my in my mouth in my mind about the the saurios. The what? The technicosaurio? Yes, why is a trend uh do you know why nobody knows you don't, don't know? know those little images were created using artificial intelligence nobody knows nobody knows who made them but those were created with artificial intelligence but uh, just for that reason is it's a trend they're beautiful they're very well designed it means it means that somebody went on the artificial intelligence chat if you have heard of that and they said dinosaurs and professions <laughs> yes, but i saw toxisaurio toxisaurio toxicasaurio toxicosaurio and toxicasaurio that sounds very familiar, right? Okay, so let's let's work together. Shall we do the book? No, we're gonna do the book tomorrow. Neither the doctor nor the nurse told the patient the results of the test. Beautiful, Claudia. That's the way. Neither the doctor nor the nurse told the patient the results of the test. Who so who did? It? Who did it? That is a great example. Oh my god. Wait. There you go. Okay, so let's continue. I have some exercises for you to practice. And I'll just go ahead and send them to you here. It's just 10 examples. And on your WhatsApp. And we can only use neither nor. Okay, so if you know it, sing it or text it on the chat, whichever you prefer. So go ahead. I'll be here just looking at the WhatsApp, I'm sorry, the Zoom chat or listening to you if you know the answer. For example, the first one, he cannot speak English. He cannot write English. Just a quick advice, be careful with the auxiliaries. He can't neither. Excellent. Continue. He can he can neither speak English nor can mm. write. Excellent. Good job. You don't need to repeat the auxiliary, the model in this case. So he can neither speak nor write English. Una cosa y se lo voy a regalar. La segunda, ¿quién, quién podría hacer la segunda? Aquí está la respuesta que estaba tratando de darle Jorge. He said he did not eat the cake himself. He did not let others eat, eat it. Lo que hago es pasar el verbo al pasado. Olvido el auxiliar ese did not 
porque neither ya está negando y nor también. Entonces, solo paso los verbos al pasado. Solo, ¿Cómo sería la dos? He neither ate. Hey, good. Ajá. Uh -huh. He neither ate the cake uh, himself. 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 Mm -hmm. Himself. Nor. Mm, nor. Eight. <laughs> I don't know. There, there's another verb. Allow. Yeah, but the, the verb is, is other. Eat again. Let. Let, but I don't know what is the pass of the let. Let, let. Let, let. let. Oh, okay, let. Yeah, you could say let or allow. But how do you start the, the sentence, teacher? Yeah, the the verb is before the... No, no, no. Neither is before. Neither is before the verb. The verb. Now, the verb is conjugated in the past. So, he neither ate the cake himself nor let others. He did neither. Eat it. Eat. To eat it or eat it. Oh, my God. I mistyped the two. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me correct that. Okay, now be careful. The second sentence, let is already in past because let is irregular. Let, let, let. So be careful with that. He neither ate the cake himself nor let others eat it. Repito, let ya está en pasado, entonces por eso te suena raro que eat esté en presente en la segunda oración. So he neither ate the cake himself nor let others eat it. Hmm. Someone else? Carlos, you're very quiet. The, the third. The, the first one? No, the, the third. Oh, the third one. Very good. Third, third. one. Uh, okay. you, you should neither meet him nor talk to him. Excellent. You got it. Just like that. So just like adding just that part, you should neither meet him nor talk to him what's up oh marilena he didn't even eat no he didn't even eat wait what compare compare with the uh country he neither ate the cake himself nor let others eat it Didn't even, Marilena, didn't even means ni siquiera. <laughs> That's the meaning of didn't even. He didn't even look at me. He didn't even look at me. Ni siquiera me vio. What? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so drama. I don't know why. Okay. Next, next. Number four. I'm not sure about that, but I will try it. Yeah. She neither she neither uh, eaten, uh, eaten anything in two days. <clears throat> Remember the auxiliary? Try it. What's the grammar tense, Nelson? She has not eaten anything in today. <clears throat> That's present. Continue. Mm, perfect. You just did it before. She has not eaten anything in today. So that's present perfect. She hasn't slept either. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So she um she neither. Where's the auxiliary? She has. Aha, uh -huh. she has neither. She has neither eaten anything in two days nor sleep either. It's... Okay. Close. You're very close. Remember that sometimes you don't need to repeat the, the time expression in this case, the two days. It may go at the end. 
of the sentence, you shall neither meet him nor talk to him. Okay, good. Let's see. So she has neither eaten anything nor slept in two days. This is very similar to Spanish, if you think about it. How will you mm -hmm. translate the sentence the way it is now, Nelson? Ella no ha comido nada en dos días, tampoco ha dormido. Mm -hmm. Ella no ha comido nada ni dormido en dos días. Ella no ha comido nada ni dormido en dos días. No comido nada ni dormido en dos días. Perfect. Okay, now we're going with number five. Someone else, Wendy, what's going on? Oh my God, look at that. He's the shadow. What's his name? I I lost in the space. <laughs> You're lost in space. Okay, try it. Try it, Wendy. Number five, the old woman cannot walk. She cannot talk. So, vamos a ver, super rápido. Decíamos, eh, ¿cuál sería mi sujeto en esta oración? The old woman cannot walk. The old woman. woman. The, the old woman. Ok. So, comienzo por ahí, pongo the old woman. Ahora, ¿qué tiempo gramatical estoy utilizando, Wendy? Mm. I don't see, don't see examples. Dice el número, ¿qué número era? Uh, cinco, number five. Share, sharing WhatsApp. Order. De nuevo, the old woman cannot walk. She cannot talk. La mujer anciana no puede hablar. Ella no puede, ah, perdón. No puede caminar. La mujer anciana no puede caminar. Ella no puede hablar. Is present. Is present with models, right? Está con modal. Can, can. Entonces decíamos, sujeto, el auxiliar que estoy utilizando para identificar el tiempo gramatical, que en este caso, ¿cuál es el auxiliar de los modales? Fue lo que hice el primer día. Les envié un libro con mm. los modales. Ajá. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar de los modales? Can, would, should, could. Can, in this case. Es el mismo, ¿no? Los, los auxiliar de los modales es el mismo modal. Entonces, the old woman, mi sujeto. Can, voy a poner esta, este modal en positivo porque neither ya me neither. da el negativo. Entonces, the old woman can neither, voy con el verbo, walk, Walk. Y ahora voy con el nor. Nor. Talk. Nor, el... no, nor walk. Nor talk. Así. Ok. The old woman cannot walk. Can. Ya me equivoqué. The old woman can neither walk, can neither walk. nor talk. Can A... neither, can mm -hmm. neither Ahí está no en el walk. chat. Ahí está en el chat. The old woman okay. can neither walk nor talk. La mujer okay. anciana no puede. Ah, no, perdón. La mujer anciana ni puede caminar ni hablar. No, la mujer anciana ni puede caminar ni hablar. Ni, 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 ni. Acordémonos de eso. Entonces, como ya estoy diciendo ni, ese cannot ya no lo necesito no. en negativo. The old lo... woman can neither. can neither can neither walk ne, nor nor talk. talk. Correct, correct. The woman can oh. neither walk nor talk. Let's see number six. No, yep, yep, yep. Wait. Number six, Manuel. She's not beautiful. She is not intelligent. She is neither beautiful. Uh huh. Nor intelligent. You got it. That's it. Y aquí está bien claro, eh. Sujeto. 
auxiliar, como el verbo to be es un mismo auxiliar, ok, neither, adjetivo, nor, adjetivo, con los adjetivos es mucho más fácil, porque te describen, ¿no? Y es ocupar el verbo to be, es tú. Number seven. Quizás lo que le va a dar esto, esto, esto uh, hay que atacarlo rápido, ¿eh? La número siete está en negativa, entonces repetíamos, ya no necesito he ese not. He neither attended. He neither attended the class regularly. He uy, nor... uy, uy, ¿cuál es el tiempo gramatical? Eh, pass. Mm -hmm. Press, simple present. Simple present, ya no modifico el verbo. He neither. Attend. Attends. Attends the class regularly. Mm -hmm. He. Oh, oh, ya nor, no necesito. Nor, nor, uh -huh. nor, nor learn his, learns his lessons either. You got, oh, ya, ya no necesitamos el either. Oh. Que mañana creo que veremos, o, o pasado mañana, que either es tampoco. Y va al final de la frase. So, he neither attends the class regularly nor learns his lessons. Ok. Entonces, retomando este ejemplo. Si está en negativo, lo que voy a hacer es activar el verbo en su forma positiva. Y agregar el neither antes del verbo en su forma positiva. O en su forma conjugada, digámosle, ¿sí? Eh, repito. Si la oración que me están dando de ejercicio está en negativa, lo que voy a hacer es conjugar el verbo. Y antes de ese verbo, agregar el neither. ¿Ok? Luego continúo con la segunda parte de la estructura. Y ya no repito el sujeto. Conjugo el verbo de nuevo. Y ahí ocupo ese nor. Como en este ejemplo exactamente. He does not attend the class regularly. Sería, he neither attends the class regularly. En mi lugar del punto voy a ocupar el nor. Y me muevo el verbo de un solo. Learns. ¿Ok? Nor learns his lessons. And that's it. Ya no necesito el neither. Sería redundante decir tampoco. ¿Ok? Practice. You're missing three. Show me. Oh, no, two, right? That was number seven. So you're only missing, oh, three, eight, nine, and ten. So for tomorrow, show me what you got. Show me those exercises. Practice them. Send them to the WhatsApp group if you want. Okay. And tonight I'm staying with who? Me, teacher. Yep. Manuel Antonio, because Juan Carlos is not here. Okay. Good. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Here. Uh, good night. Good night. Claudia María Meléndez Santos. No. Oh, okay. Cristian Nathalie Erazo Rogel. Hello, and good night. Good night. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martínez. Diana. Here. Good night, teacher. <laughs> good night. Diego Armando López Rivas reported sick. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night, George. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, teacher. María Elena Guadalupe Peñata Escobar. Present, teacher. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present, teacher. My Excellent. Own. Mario José Valle Castaneda. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Awesome. Good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Good night. Good night. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Norma Carolina, no. Ok. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cordejo. She said present on the chat. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present, teacher. Excellent. Claudia, did I take your attendance? Yeah, I did, Claudia know. María. Yeah. Thank you. Good Thank night. you, Claudita. Good night. See you Good tomorrow. Night. Thank, Thank you, Susana. You. Bye. Good night. I got you, Susana. Thank you. Good night. 
Okay, Mr. Palma. Hey, teacher. Okay. How do you feel tonight? Um, uh, very, uh, a little sick because uh, this week and also from Friday, teacher. Since Friday? I, since Friday, I was a... Uh, uh, um on bed <laughs> because I have a a flu. You got a flu? Yes, teacher. Okay. I, I take not, a not COVID. Flu. Not teacher. I, I think not COVID because I I don't I don't I don't feel my uh, uh pay, pain in my bones or, or my breath just uh uh con congestion nasal uh my my throat uh pain and swollen throat swollen 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 yes swollen. yes you got a swollen throat swollen throat yeah, swollen throat. In a, in a, in a, 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 just a little fever. A little? Fever, fever. 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 Okay. Teacher, what is the difference? Fever, for example, fever, uh, in a, fever, the, the sick, and for, exa for example, fever glass. Fever glass? A uh, fiber glass. Fiber. Fiber. The, yes. Uh, is the same the writing, right? Fiber. No, 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 no. no. Fever no. goes with a V. Wait a minute. Fever is with an E and the V is in Victor. Yes. Uh -huh. F E V E R. Yeah. Fever. Fiber glass. And fiber glass. Oh, the fiber okay. is, is is different writing. Yes. Every day I I I I can learn. A more uh, a new new word, new vocabulary. More vocabulary, uh, but what what do you do at work? Where do you work? I work in a uh, in an office, but in uh, an office in an in an office in an office. Uh, this is a professional service, mm -hmm. but uh, my specific. Work is to visit the client. Your specific job. Yes. Is to visit I, clients. Yes, to visit clients. Uh, uh, what do you say? Llevando. Caring. Um, caring documents. Oh, okay. Caring documents, important documents. Okay. Important documents. Good. It's, good. It's, it's, I remember. I, I met you. I met you in uh, after no, uh, before the pandemic in the location of English. Really, class. we yeah, were teacher. in live classes. Yes, yes <laughs> in the presential class. <laughs> That's good. Yes, teacher. Yes, it is. That's really good. Uh, but so I I. I didn't have, I didn't have any class with you. Yes, just, uh, I, I don't know, I forgot the names. Just, uh, I remember uh, Lizama, so, teacher. Lizama, Lizama? Teacher. Oh, yeah, man. So you've been with us for a long time. Yes, the Lizama's teacher. But yeah, I yeah. had a, after Lizama. Who were your teachers? Uh, I I don't remember teacher. Santos? No, Santos no. Santos okay. no. Uh, uh, one person. It is. Uh, I don't I, I don't remember the the, the name, but uh, she was a hey man. Uh, she phrase of form of phrase of of him is. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, it's time for action. Action time. Yeah, that's that's that sounds like Ruben. 
Ruben mm -hmm. or or Dequa. I don't uh, know. But I had I had three, uh, three. Three teachers. Three teachers, yeah, teacher. At but night. I'm sorry. Were you at night? Yes, uh, at night. Yes. Uh, 5.30. Five, 5.30, yes. yes. That's good. But, but I, 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 teacher, I, I have a little fear with this, this way to, to receive class, but I had not, uh, I couldn't to choice uh, because. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have, have a, choice. a choice. Not to do a election. Yes, I didn't have a choice mm -hmm. because uh, this is the only, the only, the only available, available. Yes. course but, for now. But teacher, uh, honestly, I consider is is better. It's better because uh, we don't waste time. Yeah, honestly, yeah, we don't waste time on traffic. Most of all. And traffic it's very difficult uh, we are we, we take advantage for the, the the time every second <laughs> yeah last year around september i think i was teaching a live course but they didn't show up i mean everybody used to show up late they didn't go to classes because too much traffic you know yes I can and see the right way now. The way things Nowadays, it's are. A very difficult, teacher. Yes, it's really difficult to move around the city right now. And now, picture, picture this. Imagine this. Picture this. Repeat. Picture this. Picture this. Now, picture this. <laughs> I like that phrase. Now, picture this with the new laws, the new uh, laws, starting. I think in a few days everything's going to be chaos. I mean, the bicycles, the motorcycles, not driving in the middle, being part of the line. Oh my God, it's going to be hell. It's going to be crazy. Thank God I'm I'm, not, I'm working from home. Are you working from home? No, no, no. You're, you have to go around the city, yes, right? Yes. In motorcycle. Yeah, motorcycle. Yeah. Well, I like it. I like it, teacher. Yeah, but it's not an advantage anymore. Uh, I mean, no, it, what do you it, say? Ya yeah, no. Not anymore. No, no, not, not anymore. Yes, not, not anymore. anymore. Say not. There's no more. Not, not. Not. Yes, not, teacher. A, not, a, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. All right. The the material that you sent in the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting, and I consider uh, will be uh, help me. Useful. Yes. It will be very useful for me. Very useful. It will be. It will be. Very useful. Very useful. For me. For me. Yes, yeah. teacher. And I, 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 I need to to practice. I need to. Uh, to review each one of uh, exercise. Each one of your exercises. Which exercises? I'm sorry. Exercise. If you need, if you have a, 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 a one specific topic that will help me, uh, that that will be uh, grateful. <laughs> It will be. I, 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 yeah, I mean, any, easy. any, anything that you consider a difficulty, just let me know, and yeah, we can find a way to correct it. Okay. I think that that would be very useful. Just let me know. Okay, because as I did with Jorge, lo mismo que he hecho con Jorge se puede aplicar en todo tipo de. Yeah área de oportunidad, lo que sea, se puede abordar de alguna manera. Ahora, lo más importante es de verdad hacerlo. Yes. Ahora, cada uno es un mundo, ¿no? Cada cabeza es un mundo. Y si usted logra organizarse, bueno, digamos, le digo, va a hacer esto, esto y esto, se organiza su tiempo y a meterla, a meterla, a meterla. Porque va por partes, ¿no? Va sí. por partes. Entonces, ahorita lo que puede estar ocurriendo es que se le olvida alguna frase. 
Sí. Porque ya veo que la conjugación la tiene, la tiene bastante, entonces hay que practicar nada más. Okay. That's it. Talking, 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 and that's it. Y, y, y este jam technique es, es buena, dice. Es... Creo que Lizama la, la recomendaba también. No. ¿No? No. no. Eh, okay. Lizama era, fue un buen profesor. Sí. Solo que había unos temitas que los daba muy, muy cortitos. Porque Ajá. yo me recuerdo que los fanboys eh, solo los mostró y hizo un par de ejercicios, pero no los... No es los, que la eh, manera en la que como... están abordados en el libro es muy simplista. Es eh, correcto. Hay que... De hecho, él no lo Son usaba. muchos, son muchos. Sí. Él no Entonces... lo usaba, los libros. Ah, ok, ok. Pero, pero sí, los venimos a ver. Estoy hablando en el intermedio 1, en intermedio 1. Probablemente hoy en este nivel que estamos ya está un poco más extenso, más aplicado. ¿Por qué? Porque allá solo vimos en general fanboy, for, lo que significa, en, uh -huh. no, pero ahorita, pair conjunction. Diferente. Es bastante diferente. Okay. Well, so Thank let's you, practice. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night, teacher.